Well, there's an old friend we haven't seen in a while. It's the Packard Bell Legend 1510 Supreme. Um, this is Billy Core. It's... Uh, who cares when it is? I'm tired as heck. <laughs> it's, uh... I, all day I've been messing around with my Packard Bells. I've been doing a complete overhaul of my office Packard Bells. And, and long story short, um... I now have the opportunity to get this Packard Bell Legend 15 Supreme being used as a regular computer once again. Um, well, old computer that is. It had been just sitting on the workbench for about six months now doing nothing, but I um, finally found a use for it. It's now my main bedroom Packard Bell for those late night old school DOS and Windows 95 computer game cravings and and it runs perfectly and by the way um, this isn't the original CD drive that came with this computer this is the one that came out of the legend 3550 may it rest in peace uh, what else is there to say uh, and I got monitor and keyboard hooked up. This is the monitor and keyboard that came off the Multimedia F170. So this these these will probably be going back out to the office tomorrow um, and I might be using another Packard Bell monitor for this but I digress. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. One thing I forgot to mention, as you'll see in a second, is earlier today I was able to overclock this to 133 megahertz. It was 120, but now it's 133. What I like about this computer is it uses a Phoenix BIOS, which is the exact same BIOS screen that my Legend 822 CDTW had. And I was able to install um, Office 95 on this computer thanks to this little value village pickup I made a couple of weeks ago that's in the original case the a copy of Microsoft Office 95 professional I, cost me only two dollars which is pretty impressive because if you try to get this on eBay it'll cost you about fifty dollars but I got this for two dollars has the CD key on it uh, what else? It has the both CDs. Like I said, the first one is about the only one you'll ever use. This one has a bunch of bookshelf stuff that I, I don't, and references I probably won't ever use. Anyway, back to the computer. Let's see it. I got Windows. 95 RTM on here. I let's see what I didn't use the master CD that came with this computer, which was this one. I didn't use this one. Instead, I opted for that one, which is a little bit older, but it's still a good one. And it it's running like a dream. And uh, while well, I'm at it, I might as well show Packard Bell Navigator. And I see Chris Rogers just messaged me on Facebook. Shut up for now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Welcome from Packard Bell. We offer you two computing environments to choose from. Packard Bell's Navigator or Microsoft Windows. You may also begin by taking a quick lesson on using the mouse. And if you saw one of my recent videos earlier this this week, um, hold on. Welcome.
Welcome to Navigator's Living Room. And if you saw one of my videos earlier this week with the Navigator tutorials, we, I finally showed the, um, the tutorial on how to use the mouse. So if you haven't already, go check it out. This is Navigator 3.5, by the way. And yeah, just nothing, nothing fancy here. Just good old classic Navigator. Uh, what else should I show? Hold on. Let's see. I. Uh, I better end this video. I'm getting messaged like crazy on Facebook right now, which is unusual. And it's kind of important, so let's go ahead and shut it down. Just a quick little video. And by the way, the Q&A video, the answers to your questions, will be made this week. I've just been swamped with work lately, trying to get my business going. But I just thought I'd make a quick video since the Legend third, Legend 1510 Supreme, the very first Packard Bell I ever showed on YouTube, is back up and running perfectly. So, it's September 19th, 2011. Good night, everybody.